What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we're just a software engineering by example. In this video, we will learn about a new concept in JavaScript ESX, and it's called destruction assignments. All right, so let's just get into it, guys, and show you how this works. And before we jump into this and show you how this new feature works, let's let's show you, for example, guys, just how we used to do things guys right like this is this is this is a classic object right let's get let's say i have a an uh, an, an object that is called movie and i literally just put a bunch of properties say movie as a title year and rating okay so i just declared movies right that's that's it so movie dot year will give you that movie dot title will give you that right let's just clear very simple stuff so if you want to declare uh, like a variable called y and you say movie dot year you can do that right you can save the year property or the year object or the year, year key in a variable that is called y okay and you can do the same thing right if you print y it says like yeah and if you do the uh, like for example you want the rating movie dot rating and so on right so you can just save all these parameters uh, this way so that t equal movie dot title okay so this is what how we basically used to do things it's very simple stuff right but what what the destruction assignment allow you to do is kind of unpack that object very nicely using this new uh, uh, format so this is how you do it essentially you do let but you instead you declare a variable with a curly braces right and you give it a name and that name is very critical that has to exist in one of those properties like you cannot just give it any name right this name has to literally exist as one of the property which we we know that there is a movie dot year so you can literally do let curly braces year and what will happen here the year will be 94 like right? so this is kind of useless if you think about it. It's like, okay, I mean, yeah, all right, saves me like what? One line of code? It's the same thing, right? But the coolish thing about it is that you can do this, guys. You can do title, comma, right? Not only year, let's just, what is the other thing on? Uh, rating, right? So you can do this. And you can unpack as many properties as you want. And just like that, with one line of code, I have the title in a variable and another title in another variable. So that is a pretty coolish, isn't it, guys? Isn't it? I think it's pretty cool. All right. So another property of the destruction assignment. I don't know why they call it destruction assignment. Right. So I think it's just like you can unpack stuff and, and put it like uh, in, in, into its distinct variables if you will right so so let, let, let's uh let's let's try to do another kind of destruction at a time this, this video will be very short guys so another way of just uh, unpacking stuff is using arrays right you can do stuff with array so you can you can do something like that guys so you can do a b equal an array that is called i don't know okay number seven and nine you can do that right so a now is equal seven and b is equal nine, right? And here's the coolish part about this, guys. You can do a b is equal b a. What what what? What will what this will do, guys? What do you think this will do? I mean, people who done who does Python probably will know what this does, right? We we JavaScript boys are kind of late in the game for this. But this actually does a swap if you think about it. So now A is a nine and B is a seven, right? So you can you can do all kind of coolish stuff, guys, with this. So this is what I want to talk about to do, guys. So very simple stuff, right? Just like new ways that simplifies your life. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you in the next video with some more coolish tips. See you there, guys. Goodbye.